Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain connection oriented packet switching. So what is packet switching? Whenever a node wants to send some message to a destination, that message actually divided into smaller chunks. Those, uh, those are known as packet. So uh, if we look at only packet switching, so in packet switching, those packet uh, will follow actually different different route to reach destination. But in connection oriented packet switching, all packets will follow same channel. So we are having a example here. This node wants to send some message to this node. So that message will be divided into small chunks. And these are the chunks, these are the packets. Every packet is carrying destination, node information. So when they are sent, every packet will follow the same path. So here are the information uh, every router store for uh, for those path. So as you can see, we are having incoming port outgoing port so whenever a message a packet arrived at this router router will check the destination address and by referring its routing table it will find out what will be the outgoing port now there is one more thing label what is label so uh, when we are having a single Com a connection and if that single connection a single connection can ob uh, it obviously can support a single communication but when we want uh, multiple communication through the single connection so how it is possible so here comes the use of virtual channel so when we say virtual channels virtual connection so they actually doesn't exist in actual so how it actually achieved a single communication bandwidth is shared between multiple virtual connection so when we say we are having five virtual channel in a connection so it means physical connection will be one but the capacity the bandwidth of that physical channel is shared between five communication and every communication will be having a label a number to differentiate so every router will be having this information incoming port incoming label outgoing port outgoing label so let's see how it works so whenever a node wants to send any data to another node first of all they actually send a request packet why they are sending the request packet that request packet actually establish the path through which all packet will be sent so that uh, when this packet will be arrived here so this router will check the destination address embedded in this packet and by looking at their routing table this router will find out okay the destination can be reached from this port so incoming port here one outgoing port here three so these two information will be recorded in this table now what will be the label so what this router will do this router will assign a available label let's say if there is no ongoing communication using these paths so it will assign the number let's say one when the ne uh, next request packet will come it will assign let's say two three and so on so it will assign a available label to this packet and it will record three information incoming port incoming label outgoing port outgoing label information won't be available at this time so that will be left blank so incoming port here if you can see uh, this is, is one outgoing port three and it has assigned a incoming label available label so we have taken a random number let's say 12 now this router will forward this packet on port number three so when this port arrived here, this router also having three port one two three. So it will record information that one packet request packet is came from 
port number one it should be forwarded to port number three so it will record this information and it also assign a available label so let's say it assigned 25 then this packet will be forwarded to this router and this router also will do the same task it will assign a available label and record this information in its table now when this packet arrived here this destination also will do the same thing this destination will assign a available label to this packet and store that information and that information will be used whenever this uh, node will send a acknowledgement to this node so this destination will choose a label for incoming packet and let's say this node has chosen 34 so now what this will do it will create a acknowledgement and it will send this acknowledgement back to the sender so this acknowledgement will be having label 34 that is selected by this node so when this acknowledgement packet sent back to this router this router would uh, would know that this is a acknowledgement acknowledgement packet for a request packet for which i have recorded the information this one and one information was missing so this information now will be recorded will be taken from this packet 34 so this router will store 34 and after storing 34 this router would know that if a packet is coming with 72 label it has to be forwarded to port 4 with this label same will be applied vice versa so if a packet is coming with this label for this port because this is a part of the previous communication so this label will be changed to now 72 and it will be sent to the router according to this information port 1 what this router would know this router also uh, having an idea that this acknowledgement is a part of that request process for which I have recorded this information and this router is having that if a packet is coming from port 3 it has to be forwarded to port 1 with label 25 so so far it was not having any idea about the outgoing label so what it will do it will store this number here and now it will change the port a uh, label number and it will send to the next route and this router also will do the same thing it will record this information here and it will put 12 port number and it will send back to the sender so now sender would know if i need to send any data packets to node b i will put a label 12 on those data packets so let's have a look so let's say this is the first packet this packet will be having a label 12 and these are the information sender receiver destination address and data so this will be sent to the router router will look in its routing table that if a packet is coming from port 1 with label 12 it has to be forwarded to port 3 with this label so now this packet packets label has to be changed so this label will be changed by this router and will be forwarded. This router will change this label from 25 to 72 and it will forward it. This router also will do the same task. It will change it 34, forward it. So every packet, all packets sent by this node will be carrying a, a carrying this label 12 and this router will send them on the same path so this is the connection oriented packet switching once this node is done with its uh, transmission th this node finally will send a tear down packet and what this packet will do this packet will clear that entry in every routing Rou uh, entry related to the their communication thank you very much for watching